finding the equations of lines. I can't think of anything better to do on a Monday night. Come and join me. All right, what we'll do is for these last four is we are practicing, practicing, practicing. Remember, math is not a spectator sport. We must practice. I encourage you to print out several test reviews and practice, 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 practice them. You must put a pencil in your hand, your dominant hand, that would be the right hand for most of you, and do these problems over and over and over. So we have four more to go. Writing the equations of lines, let us proceed. Number one, now let's get a little zoom out action here. Okay. Write the equation of the line with a slope of negative two that passes through the point three negative one. Pen, activate, all right? So we need an M, we need an H, we need a K because I am going to use our point slope form of the linear equation. So our M was given to us, it's two. Our H was given to us, it's three. And our K was given to us, it's negative one. So Y equals M times the quantity X minus H plus K. Y equals M, which is 2 times the quantity X minus 3 plus K, which is like a minus 1. And because the hidden step here is we are really adding a negative 1. And this right here, plusing a negative, adding a negative is like just saying minus 1. Our two distributes to both terms using the distributive property of mathematics, which is 2x minus 6. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Minus 1, which equals 2x minus 7. You can tell I'm having way too much fun doing this. Hopefully you are too, student. So this is our equation here. This equation has a slope of 2 and it contains the point 3 comma negative 1. So the answer there is 2x minus 7. Moving right along to number 2. Let's get a little scroll action. All right, number 2 states write the equation of the line with a slope of negative 4 and a y-intercept of 0, 7. Now, if you're a keen and clever scholar, you see the word y-intercept, and you immediately think of y equals mx plus b, where b is the y-intercept. So m would be negative 4x, and our y-intercept here is 7. So we can just say plus 7. However, we love practice, so let's practice using the slope-intercept form. And let's see if our answers match. Or, I'm sorry, the point-slope form. This, what we just used, is the slope-intercept form. So we have uh, our m is negative 4, our h is 0, and our k is 7. So y equals negative 4 times the quantity x minus 0 plus 7 where y is, uh, and so by using the distributive property here, negative 4 times x is negative 4x, negative 4 times 0 is 0, so I'm just not going to write anything. That leaves us with plus 7. And we do see that our answers match. Moving along to number 3, we are almost done. How excited are you? Write the equation of the line that passes through the point 6, negative 5, that has a slope of 1 half. Okay, y equals m times the quantity x minus h plus k. m equals, m stands for slope, m equals 1 half, h equals negative 6, k equals 5, and that gives us, after we plug and chug, y equals 1 half times the quantity x minus negative 6, which is the same thing when you negate a negative, x plus 
6 plus 5, which is our k. Let us distribute our half. So that gives us 1 half x plus 3. Half of 6 is 3 plus 5 equals 1 half x plus 8. Voila. There is a line that has a slope of 1 half that passes through the point negative 6, comma, 5. Number 4, write the equation of the line through 10, 0, and 7, 6. I'm going to construct my tiny table. X, Y, my cute little adorable table that is so endearing. X is 10, Y is 0. And for our second point, X is 7, Y is 6. Delta Y, delta X, I like to label my columns. Going from 0 to 6 is a change of positive 6. Going from 10 to 7 is a change of negative 3. We know that our slope is change in y divided by change in x. Change in y is 6. Change in x is negative 3. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. hi -yo, We just found our m. And for, I'll use this point right here, h equals 10, k equals 0, and here's our slope, equals m. So let's use our point-slope form of the linear equation. y equals negative 2 times the quantity x minus 10 plus 0. So y equals negative 2x plus 20 plus 0. So I'm not going to write anything. There's our equation. This is the equation of the line that contains the two points 10 comma 0 and 7 comma 6. Was that the last one? Say it ain't so. Yep, it was the last one. Uh, I would encourage you guys to... Um, I would encourage you guys to uh, search YouTube, search terms, point slope form, um, finding the equation of the line given the given two points, and really endeavor to take it upon yourself to learn this stuff. Last test of the quarter, last test of the semester, uh, midterms excluded. Um, knock this one out of the park. I think this is a, this is a test that given enough practice, you can really do well on. So I encourage you to print out this review several times and do it ad nauseum. Uh, ad nauseum is the Latin pronunciation. Um, and uh, have fun while you do it. Uh, Mr. Russell, signing off.